Welcome to the show, I am your host Jacques Slade and by now most of you have seen the Jordan and Slam Dunk collection that is set to release in Asian markets this week and globally on November 1st. I did a little digging and here is everything you need to know about the collaboration. Let's start with manga, which is the Japanese word for comics. Now, according to Wikipedia, manga are comics created in Japan or by Japanese creator in the Japanese language, conforming to a style developed in Japan in the late 19th century. Now, what does that have to do with sneakers? Well, you have to look no further than manga artist Takahiko Inoue. A big fan of the game of basketball, Mr. Inoue created a manga called Slam Dunk back in 1990. Before we get into the comic, let's talk about basketball a little bit. In the 80s, basketball started to become a global phenomenon. Led by stars like Magic Johnson and Larry Bird, the league was really starting to grow. In the late 80s, Jordan was starting to come into his own and became the face of the league on a global scale. This brings us back to Mr. Inouye and his manga Slam Dunk. Being a fan of basketball, he was obviously a fan of Jordan, and the story of the main character, Hanamichi Sakuragi, parallels Jordan's in certain ways. Both had a natural talent for the game of basketball which later turned them into all-stars. Fast forward to 2014, the Slam Dunk series ended in 1996, though it was made into anime and films after that. For this collaboration, Jordan Brand and Mr. Inoue took a two-pronged approach to the story, focusing on the legacy of Sakuragi and where the story had gone since it stopped in 1996. Of course, the best way to do that was to include a shoe from the past, the Air Jordan 6, and a shoe from the present, the Jordan Superfly 3. This enabled the story to continue and allowed Mr. Inoue to bring Sakuragi to 2014. From the box to the actual shoe, the Jordan 6 focuses solely on the past. The illustrations are all taken from the 31 volume manga series and applied over the red upper. According to Jordan Brand, the images highlight moments from the series, paying tribute to the legacy of Sakuragi's personal growth and encore talent. The fact that they used the six is no coincidence. I did a quick search on the web for the series and found this DVD cover with Sakuragi wearing the Air Jordan 6. That 10 is what we see on the heel of the shoe, and that jersey, well, it looks pretty familiar as well. For the Superfly 3, the collaboration takes a step into the present and picks up 18 years later. The shoe is in essence the next chapter in the story. Mr. Inoue says that he'd imagine Sakuragi was still alive somewhere, recovering from injury and working out while continuing to think of himself as the genius he once was in high school basketball. That storyline is continued on the Superfly 3 in all new illustrations that will never be published. The story is extended to the box as well with brand new illustrations that continue the story of Slam Dunk. The black, red, and white upper go perfectly with Sakuragi's old jersey, I personally think it was interesting that they used the Superfly 3 to continue the story considering that it's Blake's shoe and Blake is basically known for slam dunking in a sense. Well, we call it dunking now. The collection doesn't stop at the shoes. Jordan Brand has included two t-shirts and a hat as well that pull illustrations from the series and the fictional Sohoku High School team. Both the Jordan 6 and the Superfly 3 as well as the rest of the collection release on the 18th in Asian markets and will hit the US on November 1st for $250 and $185 dollars respectively. Now you have officially been laced up and know everything you need to know about the Slam Dunk Times Jordan collection. Now I am your host Jacques Slade. If you like this sort of video, why don't you go ahead and subscribe that way you see content just like this. As always, I appreciate you guys and you have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Peace. Lateral support and then it also has flight web here on the overall look of the shoe definitely looks a little more stylish than last year's shoe Last year's shoe felt a little bulky and this one feels a little more sleek this toe kind of almost makes it feel like a running shoe a little bit um, 